Hello my beautiful YouTube world. Welcome to the Designer's Loft. I'm Dee and today I am joining Deanna in the Flower of the Month Challenge. Deanna is from the Crafty Magnolia. Her co-host is Angie from Angie's Art and Crafty Creations. Now these are the supplies that I need to make my 3D photo in a frame. So I made two copies. I got these uh, daisies from the internet. So I made two copies and I will cut out one set to place in, on top of the other. And what I will do is I will paint the bottom flower a little bit darker on the edges so that it uh, forms a shadow in the picture. Deanna and Angie's channel links are both in the description box as well as the playlist to the other creators. Please stop by and, and uh, view their, their creations as well. I have a little announcement in a couple of minutes but first I just want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel but of course only if you feel that this is a fit for what you like to watch. This is basically a home decor channel where I do DIYs and also I do love to sew and I occasionally throw in some painting uh, videos. Now I have this awesome black glitter that I am gluing to the center of the daisy and in a little while I will also highlight the, the, uh, the outside of the, the, the flower in gold as well as a uh, little pink sparkly glue for the, uh, the other flowers. Now I'm going to highlight the leaves with a dry brush gold paint. So what we're going to do next is with the handle of the paintbrush, I'll lift up the petals to give it the 3D effect. There's just one more step that I need to do and that is to add glue to the back of the petals to stiffen them up a little bit so that they will stay lifted up. Alright, so it's not sparkling enough for me, so I'll just add uh, glue so that I can throw in some of the flat, larger iridescent glitter. It, it may not pick up on camera, but it really does make a difference. I just, you know, it, it looks prettier with the, uh, the iridescent glitter on the outside of the flowers. Now, for my second DIY, I want to um, do something that inspired me uh, by Shelly from Pretty Inspired Decor. Now, Shelly has been a friend 
since before I even started my channel, uh, she was one of the channels that I watched often all the time. And she really gave me encouragement when I came on. In fact, she's one of the reasons why I decided to, to be a part of this community. Now, I'll never forget how she commented and, and, and congratulated me on the first video I ever did. Um, since then, she's always watched and commented on every video that I made. Now, she comes on with encouraging words, uh, encouraging words of wisdom, and she's always, always, always shown such support and encouragement. Um, I just love her channel. She has a soft, gentle uh, way of decorating, but yet very sophisticated, but not pretentious. Now, Shelly had this pretty napkin ring on her tablescape that you barely had any time to see it, but my eyes caught it. It had a big diamond on the top of it. And of course, mine is not going to look anything like hers because most of my supplies are in storage right now. So I went around and looked for what I have. Now, I had, I just purchased these, um, bathroom curtain hooks with a, a round diamond looking stone and um, I took a, a daisy and it already has a hole where I can put the the hook through but but um, in between the hook and the and the um, the flower I glued in some of the blingy ribbon that I had uh, to sort of make it a little bit more bright and I guess now you can use it as a shower hook or a napkin holder. <laughs> Here it is. I love it. With the right color napkin, it'll work. I urge you to visit Shelly's channel, Pretty Inspired Decor, and you will love it. Tell her that I sent you. And thank you so much for watching this far. The short announcement is that in the coming weeks, watch out for my channel. I have my first collab coming up and there will be a huge giveaway. You'll want to stay tuned. <laughs>